guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you how i got my i cleaned my uh, nail palettes nail art palettes first i get a bowl and i get pure acetone you can order this on amazon i'm doing this in my, in my kitchen by the way but yeah so you put the the uh, palettes in a bowl and i have three total you can do one two whatever you want one excuse me one at a time so you pour pure acetone in the bowl and you're going to want to wear gloves for this because pure acetone is very strong it like eats up everything i ended up pouring more so that the the nail art palettes were actually like um underneath the pure acetone like completely soaked by the pure acetone um as you can see i let them soak for maybe like five five minutes ten minutes and you can see the gel polish is already coming off so you want to get a brand new scrub. I'm using a brand new scrub. Scrubs are really cheap. You can get it at the dollar store. And I'm just going to start scrubbing. And guys, you wouldn't know, you don't know how long this took. This took actually really long. And it doesn't damage your uh palettes, by the way. If you, you know, these things are so cheap, but I didn't feel like waiting for one to get here from Amazon or Etsy or whatever. I did purchase mine off of Etsy and it took a little while to come. So I really wanted to just wash them. And just for anybody who doesn't want to keep buying them, you can wash them off. Um, it's best to do it all together. It is like it does take some scrubbing. You know what I mean? The glitter, any glitter polish, uh, gel polish is always hard. You guys ever have glitter on your nails? You go back to the nail salon and it's extremely hard to get that to soak off. It's so annoying. But so I'm really, really you know, scrubbing with these. Um, and they only been soaking for five minutes, so you can do 10 minutes, but you see that it's coming off little by little. You really want to scrub. You can get a better scrub if you have one. So, like I said earlier, I ended up pouring more in there. Ugh, the smell was giving me a headache. I don't know. Lately, I've just been getting headaches more often because of smells, like strong smells. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm going to check that out. But I'm letting it soak, and you wouldn't believe. I put these gloves on to protect my nails, but I literally, when I took my gloves off, three of my nails were like almost soaked completely off so pure acetone is super strong but anyway we're getting it off look at that one the first one it's coming off see that that one was at the bottom completely engulfed you can use a like a wider uh, bowl or whatever or a tray to really get all three of them underneath the acetone but yeah this one was good So I'm just going to put that one aside. Okay, so the last two, they had a lot more polish on them of all different brands. But that glitter one is still like, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that all off in the entire video or one setting, but it was so hard to get off. You can use a harder scrub or like a metal scrub but I didn't want to damage the palette. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm still like using my fingernails a little bit through my gloves to scratch off some of the polish because it's easier to scratch off now. Gel polish is so hard to get off. Like even on nails, if you don't file it down, like that's the easiest and fastest way to get it down. But if you have to soak it off, it takes forever. Okay, so they're, they're scrubbing those little tiny spots. Like I use little tiny spots and they just, it's crazy. But look at the, my sponge is like breaking down. These are dollar sponges, so I'm okay with that. Um, they're breaking down from the pure acetone because it's just such a strong chemical. And I'm going to throw this one out anyway. I, I don't, I'm not going to use it again. Okay guys, so I'm just going to continue to scrub until it comes off. Keep scrubbing. You got to put in work some arm muscle. I'm eating popcorn, by the way. And guys, I've been juicing lately. I'm loving it. I know that's off topic, but, you know, I'm going into the new year strong. You know, I've definitely, I've been trying so many different types of juices. I bought a juicer recently, and... It's just motivating me to eat and drink healthy. You know what I mean? Like right now I'm eating the Skinny Pop popcorn. It's delicious, but it's, it's under, I'm not a calorie counter by the way, but this is under 100 calories, I believe. Yeah, it's delicious. All right, back to the video. So we're just dipping our sponge. Change up where you're scrubbing on the sponge because that part will break down. So you need to change it up so that you get a more durable part. But yeah, that blue was like not coming off. I can't even remember what blue this was. And why it was doing that. So I eventually gave up. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be scrubbing forever. We'll toss that to the side. Okay, now this glitter though, this glitter one was a lot more tough. This was not coming off at all. Like, is this pure acetone, pure acetone? It is by the way, but I'm joking. Like, it's easier to break down acrylic powders. Like say if you do full nail, only acrylics and stuff, I've had like it's so much easier breaking that down with pure acetone than it is gel polish. Why is gel polish so effing hard? You hear me get mad, but so I just chalked it, whatever. Put those to the side. I'm gonna throw this sponge away and look at the dirt that was left. Look at the griminess. Those needed to be clean. How often do you guys clean your supplies? Because I don't have customers or take anybody, I feel like I clean maybe once a week. But you should always sanitize. So yeah. 
that's how I clean my nail art palettes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.